This stress management video is about managing stress using an impulse management procedure. George Burns, the late American entertainer, who passed on at 100, is quoted in the opening of my Live Without Stress book. If you ask me what is the most important key to longevity, I would have to say it's avoiding worry, tension, and stress. And if you didn't ask me, I'd still have to say it. Living without stress was also the key to Nozano Nunako's long life. He was recognized by the Guinness World Records as the world's oldest man when he was 112 years old. He passed on at 113 last month in Hokkaido, Japan. His granddaughter, Yuko, told the press that his long life was due to his trying to, quote, live without stress, unquote. A key characteristic of living without stress has to do with impulse control. In my presentations, I share a simple impulse management technique to prevent a person from becoming stressed. Here is an example of how the technique works. Assume that you are in your car, stuck in a traffic jam, and that you will be late for an important appointment. You feel yourself getting angry, and your self-talk sounds something like, this traffic is making me so angry. The fact of the matter is that the traffic does not care. You are simply experiencing a situation that stimulated you, which prompted an emotion. Here's how the impulse management procedure works. Start by visualizing a traffic signal when you are becoming angry. Visualize the red in the traffic signal for you to stop and immediately take a breath as of gasping. It is impossible to gasp with a closed mouth. Take a deep gasp a second time and notice that your jaw drops open and your tongue drops at the bottom of your mouth. This simple procedure of taking a gasp of air interrupts tenseness in the central trigeminal nerve that communicates tension and stress throughout the body. Now, inside the moment that it takes to gasp and release the tension, your mind has the opportunity to redirect your thinking so you can consider your options, yellow in the signal. Your options may include turning on your car radio, playing a CD, or perhaps thinking of plans for the coming weekend. Then choose one green in the signal. This redirection of your thinking will immediately relieve the stress because the only sure way to relieve or change an emotion is to redirect your thinking. The reason is that emotions always follow cognition. If you have a tendency to get angry, learning this procedure through repeated practice will not only reduce the number of times you become angry, but will also reduce the intensity of your anger. This moment just before the emotion takes over, before we become emotionally hijacked, is when we have an opportunity to choose a response. Once we train ourselves to become aware of this brief moment of opportunity, we become more able to decide what our response will be. Responses undoubtedly occur, but the how is our choice. A fundamental understanding of this technique leads you to understand that you never have to feel like a victim because you always have the choice of responding to any, situ any stimulation, any urge, or to any situation you cannot control. So here is a tip. Practice this impulse management procedure a few times to have it become habitual. If you like to have a card or a poster of this procedure, visit the shop at withoutstress.com. More insightful tips on how to manage stress and other topics are at withoutstress.com. If you're interested for presentation information, visit marvinmarshall.com.